Hey guys, I just did my last ride on Ravine Flyer 2. Unfortunately, we didn't do last, unfortunately I didn't do last train of the night because they closed at 10, 15 minutes early, which is not a big deal because the park was kind of busy than usual from the get, from the satisfa uh, satisfaction, but I don't care. I got four rides on this. I got some merchandise. I got to enjoy some amazing rides. I got all the roller coaster credits. And man, Ravine Flyer 2 is just such a phenomenal ride. It is so good. Um, yeah, I recommend you go to this park. It's um, it's a lot of fun. Um, there's so much to do. Lots of good flat rides for everybody. Like lots of great rides for the whole family to enjoy. And again, just like Michigan's Adventure, you know, it's a great, small, charming little park. And I highly recommend you check it out. And the prices are not too bad either. It was like 11 or $12 American for uh, a combo meal compared to uh, $14 uh, or $15 Canadian at Canada's Wonderland, so. But yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just heading home now. So uh, got a long three or four hour drive back to Canada tonight. So we're heading out as soon as I leave the park and the park's closed. Everybody's heading home now. So after a good long day at Waldemere. So yeah, Waldemere is a really fun park, guys. It's it's um it's kind of like Cedar Point. Well, not like bit like big, but like like it's near Lake Erie, just like Cedar Point is. And you're surrounded by water when you're up. You know, you're, you're there's a lake way over there, so it's really cool. You get one of the best views in the world. It's so so breathtaking. So yeah. It was a phenomenal park. It's such a great park. Yeah, where's Yeah, we're just heading home after a long day. Been here since noon. So, got all the credits. Wasn't too busy, but the park claimed it was busy than usual. But, I mean, I've seen busier at an amusement park, so. Yeah, there's lots to do. There's a train. Unfortunately, it was not operational when I was here. Um, if I have one problem with the park is their debit machine does not work. That's the one issue I have with this park. And that's pretty much it. You know, I think it's a great park for what it is. I just think you just get the debit machines working. Instead of me going to a kiosk machine and using that, I mean, the cashless thing is an okay system, but when there's, but when the debit machine's not working, you, you know it's cashless. It kind of sucks that they don't offer cash, you know. But yeah, really good part. See, there's the train tracks. The train was not operational today, which, which is a shame. But yeah, all the rides are really good. They have an uh, awesome drop tower which is really fun. Um, it's probably one of my favorite drop towers, as a matter of fact, because it doesn't really stop at the top. It goes up, it climbs up to the top and then immediately drops, like just like that, boom. And it is just so much fun. Yep, can't wait to go home, put this on YouTube for you guys when I get home. Uh, jam night is tomorrow, so if you wanna come to uh, my open mic jam night, check it out, it's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah. But yeah, this is Waldemere. That's their water park. I did not go in it because it wasn't too, too hot for it. And also I have a full bag and I don't want my stuff to be stolen. And I don't want to purchase a locker for the 
water park, but it looks like a solid water park. It looks really fun. But yeah, that's Waldemere. Very fun park. I really like it a lot. You know, it's not the worst park, but it's also not the best or greatest park. It's just a charming, nice little park. And I highly recommend it, you know? If you love intense woody wooden coasters, come ride Ravine Flyer 2. It's really spectacular. And yeah, just trying to find my mom right now, but yeah. Sorry guys, this is... But yeah, we're gonna end it right now. But yeah, stay tuned for more vlogs coming later today, or sorry, later in the future. Um, this is the end of my roller coaster trip. I'm a little sad, but I'm going home playing music live tomorrow, which is awesome. I'll be back at Canada's One End probably by next week to see if Tundra Twister will be open. So stay tuned for more vlogs on that. And of course, when the words of Ravine, Ravine Flyer 2, rock on and ride on.